Rolling on the river. Nothing could be more true when it comes to Kingston Crew. Anyone who knows anything about crew knows that the aim of the sport is to stay afloat and to paddle fast. But what exactly goes into mastering this dry intended water based sport? To be on crew, you gotta have a lot of endurance and strength and whatnot. We go out and we just row for a few hours. We just get as much rowing as possible done. We usually do lots of running. Um, and then just like core exercises. Thing. Practicing staying together and like leaning back and just getting to be a boat. It's it's constant and it's just all out. You gotta have confidence like our boat. Our boat is very confident and we do pretty well because of it. Similar to just about any other sport, the basis of crew is teamwork. It's a, the only sport I've been on that's really a team sport. Like tennis it'd be doubles or singles but crew really you have to get along with all eight people in your boat or it's just not gonna work. So when it comes to putting a bunch of athletes who have never rowed together in the same boat to try and win a race, it isn't always easy for Miss Fleck, who started the team 10 years ago. It's very tricky. You have to balance kids, you have to get kids together that um, will follow each other, which will cooperate with each other, and to be competitive at the same time, so it's very difficult and tricky. Not only is it tricky for the coaches, but it's rough on the water for the rowers as well. It could be really dangerous today. We did a race piece. I'm a coxswain, and coxswains um, sit in front of the boat. And um, we actually kind of got into a little accident with another boat. It wasn't our fault. <laughs> and like steer it and tell the rowers where to go and if they need to row harder and like gives them powers and stuff. We're just smashing oars. Water's going all over the place. And yeah. You're basically responsible for the boat that you have because if you mess up or crash, then it, you're going to get in so much trouble because the boats are really expensive. The team's only home meet on Saturday attracted dozens of onlookers down to the Strand. It's awesome. You got a boat rowing down the river and stuff. It's a really good time and it's really fun. It's really nice outside. While the event was a great time for everyone, when asked how crew measured up to other sports, some felt that crew was more of an entertainment event opposed to a physical one. It's not as physical as any other sport that I've seen. It's pretty entertaining to watch the fast boats are fast. But as KHS Jr. Amy Courtney will attest, that simply is not the case. Well, crew is more of a, like a full body workout. Like I did tennis, and that was mostly just upper body. And Nordic skiing was a lot of you know leg workout. But crew, it's really it's everything. It's abs, arms, legs. So I, I actually really like it. And we all love crew, and we have a lot of fun. And this is a great boat. Reporting for KHS TV, I'm Ethan Burwell.